Let's pull back the curtain just a little bit. Look at this. You might not know this, but when our Jim Cantori is out tracking winter storms, the guy loves to shovel snowfall. That's Jim right there. But, but the thing is, is he doing it the right way? Shoveling, you may not know this, can actually be dangerous because people do have heart attacks. We know that nine people around Chicago died while shoveling snow during the recent blizzard. So, folks, seriously, this is, this is very, very serious business. So we're going to take a moment to show you what you need to do, how you need to do it, how you can stay safe. Uh, shoveling so far, we've got Dr. Sandy Freihofer with us. Sandy, uh, it's kind of like working out. You have to warm up, don't you? Yes, that's why he likes to shovel snow. He can't go jogging, so he's getting a great aerobic workout. He's lifting weights. It's okay. aerobic. It is hard on your back. It's a royal pain, literally. But it's also hard on your heart. If you think about it, when mm -hmm. you lift those, lift that snow, your okay. heart rate goes up, your blood pressure goes up. That cold weather constricts the blood vessels, but so it puts extra strain on your heart. So you, we do worry about people having heart attacks shoveling snow. Well, what is the best way to warm up to prepare well, the Well, you want to warm up because mm -hmm. it is hard exercise. You want to warm up your shoulders, maybe okay. do some quad stretches, stretch, you know, the back of your legs, sure. get ready for it. And then it's important to pick your shovel. Okay. We've got here. Which one would you pick, Reynolds? If it was me, I, I'm just the dude. I would go ahead and I'd take the silver shovel because I'm thinking, let me get in front of you for a moment. And Big we, scoop. This is perfect, right? That is not what you want to do. And that is why you've hurt your back. Oh. You want to pick a small knot. Well, you can do that. <laughs> and, and that's what you have to worry about mainly with kids. You want to pick a small shovel. Okay. And you want to use your knees, not your back. So let's, okay. let's before we, let's put this shovel. Well, that you, shovel's going to go yeah, down, you think? Yeah. Well, you can try it. Okay. But just, okay. Okay. So you want to use your knees. Knees down. Yeah. Okay. Not your back. Keep your back straight. Okay. Use straight. that core. <laughs> you know, when you've been doing those sit ups, work Absolutely. on that core. Okay. And try to push the snow. Okay. Try not to lift. Try to push, and try not to twist. Okay. Okay. Don't 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 demonstrate the twisting today. Don't demonstrate okay. the twisting no, no, today. No 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 no. Okay. Now, if there's ice, yep. this is your guy, right here. But Reynolds, this should be your favorite. Shovel. It's just like a, just the perfect yeah, it's blade. a pusher. Okay. It's a pusher, and it's not as small. I would probably like one that, for me that was a little smaller, because I'm not as strong as you. But um, this, you can push the snow. So why don't you try it? Okay. Don't don't scratch the well, floor you know though. What? We are. This going to be our full scoop. I certainly appreciate your time, okay. and we're going to give the scoop over to. Where are we going next, guys? Is that we're going to the lab? Yeah, yeah. guys, let's give you Ooh, the scoop. The there you go. Boom. <laughs> Take oh, it away. Oh, over. That looks delicious, Reynolds. Scoop, big scoop of nothing. Gonna be shoveling you some reality been, your way, huh? Some ice cream on there for us. All right, so <laughs> you may want some ice cream in the middle part of the country because of warmth yeah. this week, but not in the Northeast. Oh my goodness, another storm. I uh, know, and you know what? It's gonna be kind of like a sequence of storms. It's not one giant one, but over time, Kate, it's gonna unload a lot of snow. Let's have a look at the maps and show you that over the next three days, look at these numbers, guys. Really. Foot and a half in some places, and largely north of basically the same line that we've seen the snow fall, right? North of a Pittsburgh to New York line, that's where you're going to get the most snow, and that's what we've seen really over the last few weeks. But is this going to happen all at once, or is this kind of like a, a